Hello and welcome to our next video and lecture from this course on how to create different types of graphic designs using Krell. Now, as you have previously seen in the other lecture, in the introductory lecture, this is how your dashboard will look like after you sign up and sign in into Krell. So first things first, what we want to do and what I will show you how to do in this lecture is how to create a new design. Let's say that we want to create social media posts okay or social media posters as you can see right inside of your dashboard on the main page you will have this option create a new design and here you will see that you have some featured types of designs you can create facebook posts instagram posts posters presentations social media in general okay now if you want to choose something specific you have to see all of the formats so what we will do right now is click on the view all 37 formats and you can see that already the page has expanded and we can see that we have more formats here and you can see also that we have a menu in the upper part of the dashboard where we can actually choose by category what type of graphic we want to design and what we are interested in is to create social media posts so i will click on the social media posts button Basically, these are all the types of social media posts that we can create. So for social media in general, we have a resolution of 800 with 800 pixels of Facebook posts, Twitter posts, Instagram posts, and also we have Pinterest graphic or Tumblr graphic. So we have plenty of choices. Now, most of you will probably use this tool to create Facebook or Instagram posts. And some of you also for Pinterest or Twitter, but let's say that the top three dominant ones will be Facebook, Instagram, and also Pinterest. So let's try an Instagram graphic, okay, which is 1080 pixels with 1080 pixels. So first things first, what we are going to do right now is click on the create a design Instagram post. So you just go with the cursor of the mouse over the over the thumbnail, click on it, and the editor will open for you. As you can see, here is the canvas. In the left side, you have two menus. So you have the main menu right here where you can choose from different options and icons. And I will walk you through those uh, in more depth into a different uh, into a different lecture and also you have this main menu here where you can choose the category of templates that you want to use for your Instagram posts and from where you can choose the template and afterwards customize it and edit for your own needs so first things first what we want to do is choose a category maybe you work in the beauty niche the fashion and style niche food and drinks real estate building it doesn't matter we will just choose one as an example let's say that we want food and drinks and you will see that we will uh, have now some templates from where we can choose in the foods and drinks category now very important because i've told you that crello also makes money with their platform is for you to choose one of the uh, one of the templates which has this small watermark with free in the right lower corner okay the ones which you have to pay for if you will choose to uh, to buy they will have a, like a premium or pro watermark right here okay so let's just take the first one as an example you can see that now the editor has loaded the template for us and every element on the template is actually editable for example we can select the text here October okay and we can rotate the text if we want to so it's pretty simple to edit it we can select coffee day we can select the whole text and you'll see that the options for the text will open in this area here okay so we'll have different options for the text for example the main text options we can choose a different font we have different types of fonts here bangers for example or armata or okay we can choose the size let's say that we want smaller size we can choose if we want the the font to be bold italic underlined okay the classic text uh, options we can choose the font color maybe we want something like this green here okay and also we can play around with the font size from these sliders here also the line height and the spacing that we have okay so there are plenty plenty of options now if if you have a look in the right side of the text options you will see that you have a smaller menu 
you can play also with the transparency of the text. You can see that it changes. You can also uh, basically this editor Crello, like all major editors like Photoshop and all other major online editors work with layers. Okay, so your text will be a layer, the background will be a layer, another shape in your image will be a layer and you can play around with the layers. Basically, if you want the text to be over a square, you just put the, the text as a layer in front of the layer, which is the square. Okay, so you got the idea. That's how it works. Uh, you can duplicate the text, something like this. Let's delete one of them because we don't need all of them and delete it. Okay, so this is how you edit, uh, how you edit text. Okay any shape that you will choose from the template, any element, it will be editable. For example, if you choose the background image, you will see that for background images and images in general, photos, you'll have different options, okay? The option box will open and you have effect, for example, different types of effects, okay, from where you can choose. And you have even more advanced ones, like intensity, brightness, contrast, you can play around with them. Then you can crop the image if you want, okay, but we don't want to. Uh, also transparency and the other ones that you know. This one is an extra one which basically rotates the image for you. And this is how you play around with the elements from your template. Okay, so you can choose, you can change images, you can change the text, you can edit text, you can you can add new things if you want to to the image. And let me show you how you can do that. For example, if you go in the left side menu over here, you can choose the text option. Let's say that we want we want to add some text. You have some templates here as well. You just click on an element and it will appear on the screen, okay, on the image, as you can see here. Let's delete this one. After you are done with everything, with editing everything in your image, you just have to press on the download button. You choose the type and the format. Okay, let's say that we want PNG transparent. You just click on it and you wait for a couple of seconds because they are preparing your design for download. They are rendering the image and this should not take very, very long, but we have to wait for it uh, for a couple of seconds or even up to a minute. And after it's done, it will be downloaded to your computer, saved as an image there so you can use it whenever you want. And that's about it. Now, thank you very much for being attentive and watching this lecture and we are looking forward to see you in the next one.